Hello, writers. We have been working so hard in our writing book. After my lesson, you need to go get your writing book. You will need a pencil and you will need something to draw with. First, I am going to show you something new for you to try today. We have been working super duper hard on labels. Labels are little words or letters that we put next to our pictures. And that really helps us become a good reader and a good writer when we start hearing and saying and listening and thinking about sounds and then putting it on paper. Woo, a lot's happening there. So let's go back and review. Here was our first lesson where we were trying to label. I was trying to write apple and I knew the family members' names, so I wrote them quickly. That was the first time we talked about labels. Then I showed you how you can use your ABC chart, like the one behind me, and like the one you have in your materials kit. And we looked at that ABC chart and we can use it to help us. So when I was working on this story, I was trying to write fire, I was trying to write tree, I was trying to write moon, and I wasn't sure, so I looked on the ABC chart and that helped me match up sounds that were the same. So if I was trying to write um, ba-ba-ball, I could use ba-ba-bear to help me. If I'm trying to write about ha, ha, Halloween, I can use ha, ha, hat to help me with that first sound. If I'm trying to write about a d, d, doll, I can use the the dog to help me know what that letter looks like and then I can write it quickly. Just do your best and write it quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. And your stories are not going to look like Mrs. Motter's. Your writing is not going to look like a grown-up. You are not a grown-up. You are a kindergartner. Don't forget those lessons we learned a long time ago about adding lots of colors and adding lots of details too. Just because we talked about that a long time ago, we still need to do that too. We just keep adding on more and more lessons and more and more great writing skills. Today, we're gonna work more on labels, little words and letters. And I'm gonna teach you something new to help you listen to more of the word. Not just that very first part, but to try to listen to the whole word. You're gonna to try to put your hand on an imaginary rubber band or a hair thingy, something that you can stretch. Today we're gonna to learn how to stretch words slowly so we can hear lots of parts, not just the very beginning part, but lots of parts. So here I have a little um, loop or a little band. You could pretend you're holding a rubber band. You could pretend you're holding a hair thingy. You could pretend you're holding a scrunchie. And we're gonna stretch it out as we say words to listen to lots of parts, okay? So the first word I want you to stretch with me is the word cat. We're gonna stretch it out and say it slowly and listen to each part. This will help you as a writer to listen to all the parts, and this will help you as a reader so that you can say each part that you see. Cat, here we go. Cat, ooh, cat. I heard three different parts. C-a-t, cat, c-a-t, cat. I heard three different parts in cat. So when I'm trying to write that, I could try to write more parts. Ooh, you're turning into some smart cookies here. Let's try to stretch out the word dog and let's hear how many parts we can try to hear. Get your imaginary band or if you wanna pause this video and go get one, that's cool too. 
a rubber band, a hair thingy, a scrunchie. Let's try dog. Dog. Oh. Dog. D. Og. I heard three parts again. D. Og. Dog. So when you stretch it out slowly, you hear more. And then you can try to write more. Let's try the word mouse. Mouse. Let's see what we can hear. Mouse. Oh, my band got so big. I was listening slowly and carefully. Mouse. Ooh, I heard. Mouse. 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 I heard three parts again. Wow. Let's try the word table. Ooh, that one's feeling a little bit longer. Let's say it slowly and stretch. T able. Oh, my rubber band got so stretchy. T able. I heard more than three parts that time. I heard t able. I heard four parts. T a b l table. Whoa, I could try to write lots of parts. No kindergarten, you might not be able to hear all those parts yet. You might not be able to write down all of those sounds yet. That's okay. That is okay. We have all year to build and grow our letters and sounds. Build and grow. We're just working and doing the best that we can. So, when you were not here, I drew my next writing story, and then you're going to help me do some stretching. This really happened to me. Your story happened to you, so you are in it. This happened to me, so I am in it. I was watching a movie at my house in the basement with Macy and Mallory. I'm going to use my touch and talk. Here's Mrs. Matters. This is the back of my head because I'm looking at our TV on the wall and we were watching Onward. These are my characters from Onward. Do they look kind of blue? They were kind of blue. And then Macy and Mallory are in their chairs and then they were eating some popcorn from a little container there. So this story happened to me. I tried to use lots of colors. I tried to add lots of details. Now I'm going to go back I'm gonna put my pencil in my hand and I'm gonna put my name on the top and I'm gonna to try to add some labels using my stretching strategy. You know what, TV, listen carefully to that. T, V. I think I can write that speedy quick, say it. T, V. It's just a T and a V. So I'm gonna just put that on there. TV, TV, it's just a T and a V, I can do that. All right, now I'm gonna try to stretch out popcorn. Oh my gosh. That's a long one, guys, listen. Popcorn. My hands got all the way out here, that's a big word. Should I freak out? Ah! No, don't freak out, just do your best. All right, popcorn. Pop. I actually hear another p. Pop. 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 Corn. K -k -k. Pop. Corn. Pop. Corn. Holy moly. I kept saying that word over and over and over again and I tried to write lots of parts. Wow. That was a lot of letters that Mrs. Matter tried to put here. Whoa, that was a lot. I worked really hard to do my best on that. I'm gonna try to stretch out table. Can you say it with me? Table, t -t 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 table, t -t -a, a a a a a. That just sounds like an a. Table, b b. 
table. Table. I tried to write able. Table. Table. I tried to put a lot of parts there. I tried. I'm going to try to write couch. I'm sitting on the couch. That's the back of my head, and I'm sitting on the couch. Couch. Hmm. Ow, 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 ch. Hmm. Kindergarten, if I get stuck and I don't know what to put, that's okay. Just do your best. I heard k, couch. And maybe I don't know how to do the rest yet. And that's okay. I'm going to try one more for y'all. I'm going to try to write pillow. I have two blue pillows that match my blue tables down in my basement. Say pillow. Pillow. Let's say it nice and slow. Let's stretch it out. Pillow. P -p 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 Pillow. I tried to write pillow. Whew. Is your writing brain working really hard today, y'all? My writing brain is working really hard today. I put so many labels on there. And I know you will try also. So today I drew a picture that happened to me. You are going to draw a picture that happened to you. And then you are going to stretch a word and try to write everything you hear as much as you can. I tried to write TV. I tried to write popcorn. I tried to write couch. I tried to write table. I tried to write pillow. Whew. Whoa, my writing brain is getting a workout. Oh, I bet your writing brain is getting a workout today too. Thank you for working on something new and hard and tricky and it's making you better and stronger and more amazing. And I love you for it.